Covering Colorado First Now in the high country for you, 40% of the Front Range's water flows through Dillon Reservoir. Crews are now working to make sure that the streams and creeks that feed the reservoir are healthy as well. Your report on the mountain, Spencer Wilson, takes us to Soda Creek near Keystone, where teams are building beaver dam analogs to restore the habitat. Farmers used to grow cabbages out here, and they had to dry up the land to do that. But now the idea is to turn it back into the wetlands it once was. In order to do that, they're mimicking beaver dams, adding more than 100 of these along Soda Creek in order to keep the flow of water going, but also spread it out across some of these drier spots, which in turn they're hoping will recreate the natural environment. It's a goal that comes with a lot of benefits, both for us and for the wildlife. Not only does it help the fish, moose, and beavers, but it helps with wildfire mitigation too, and our water supply down to the front range. What we're doing is enhancing the size of the sponge up here to deliver water throughout the year. Because it was just flashing through, just super fast. And so by slowing it down, you engage that wetland sponge, that filtration system, and you pull those sediments out. And so the water coming out of this system will be much clearer and cleaner. So how do they do it? by pretending to be beavers themselves, creating analog beaver dams, moving soil from high spots nearby, and then dumping that on top of sticks, branches, and then logs that they've woven between posts, and then stomping it down to pack it in, which seems like a lot of fun. All of this to help Soda Creek, just south of Keystone, to spread the water it carries across the valley floor, made possible by the National Forest Foundation and Coca-Cola. Water is the number one ingredient in our products, and as one of our focus areas. When all is said and done, 42 and a half acres of wetland should be right here for years to come. If everything goes according to plan, this whole area should be back to wetlands in around five years. South of Keystone, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Spencer covers what's happening all across our high country. Recently, he's reported on stories in Olathe, Palisade, Glenwood Springs, and Breckenridge, just to name a few places. If you have a story idea for him, reach out to him through our website. Yeah, he would love to hear from you.